and well, picking things up to put things down, right? <laughs> right. One right. naturalist out there is saying, put down the rake and stop raking your leaves. Yep. What's going on here? <laughs> I think this is a great story for me because <laughs> I, a lot of I'm leaves sure for you too, right Rob, now. and any homeowner, you don't want to have to rake all those leaves, right? We know that the season is here. I think when leaves are not raked, they look unsightly, but there are reasons why we need yes. to rake the leaves or not to rake the leaves. So, Dina, go and explain yes. why. Yes, so dead leaves may be unsightly, Yes. Uh, but a naturalist at the National Wildlife Federation says that they are great wildlife habitat for a slew of creatures. And so they say to put down the rake and leave the leaves because there are little organisms that are growing under those leaves and if you let it decompose naturally that there is a cycle of life Hold and you on. should just leave them alone. Let me text my wife make sure she's watching this. <laughs> a so you don't need to naturalist yeah. says, you don't need to rake. This is an expert here. Yes. So I think this is great. If you're someone at home though who's looking at your neighbor, oh. neighbor's pile of leaves and you're going they better pick all that up because that is so unsightly mm -hmm. as Michelle said. But at the same time it's like well you know if, if somebody's telling me I don't have to. Mm -hmm. This is for good reason. Over winter months this is again according to the naturalist the expert a lot of butterflies and moths mm -hmm. um, are left in that litter and when you rake it up no. You were removing the whole population of butterflies you would otherwise <gasps> see in your own yard. Now this is interesting because who doesn't love butterflies? Right, right. right. Okay. If you do, so if much. you hate <laughs> butterflies, I have words for you. <laughs> but um, here's the thing: this might be maybe somewhat of an East Coast story because in California our seasons are a little bit different. Let me get all weather on you. Yeah. You know our grass often goes dormant but still is alive. Right. Uh, a lot of East Coast stuff. You know you could. L let the leaves drop and just don't have to worry about it because your grass is going to go totally gone right. and then come back in the spring. So there may be something else going on there. But it's it's interesting. I mean, if leaves are great habitat for bugs in, in on the East Coast, they would be the same in California too. Absolutely. I'm just going to say this, okay? <laughs> I live in East Sacramento. If I had my entire yard covered in leaves, I can tell you right now, my You're neighbors are not going to be happy. Yeah. And here's a great resource. We have the big claw that comes up and pick up, picks up the leaves. So use it. I mean, I just I just think everything looks better when it's nice and tidy. I love the changing of the leaves. I love the colors, yeah. but I do not like looking at it. My daughter loves to pick it up, and it's fun for like five minutes, but it's right. like, okay, I don't like walking in it. I hate when it gets wet. It, it tends to stick, stick on everything. To shoes, the thing that boots. we do have to remind you, too, is like within the city of Sacramento and many other cities across the country, yeah. they have leaf pickup services because they don't want the gutters to get filled with leaves Correct. and right. blocked, and then that causes other issues like flooding. And so we're not telling you that, you know, this is something everybody should should just go and do but in your own backyard if there's a tree that is mm -hmm. dropping leaves and you're like you know what I'm not going to be mowing that lawn for the next three months I might as well just do it because no one else is going to see it and it's not impacting the gutters for the city mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe there, I will say, just leave it. Because my husband and I tr tend to tag team. I'll rake so he can mow. Mm -hmm. But now I'm thinking like. What? You mow, mow over the leaves. You don't have to rake. It'll suck them right up. Really? But then they chop yeah. them up really small, so they're still there. So I it's technically to, a mulch. Maybe he's and just it trying still to. Looks messy. <laughs> maybe he's trying to get her to do something. All she's going to do is say, "Hey, Rob, can I borrow your lawnmower next?" Well, remember the, she did. Okay, yeah, look, the proper power way. Washer. The proper way is is you rake them up because you can't get everything with a mower. Right. You're not going in your hedges. Okay? Exactly. But you know you have to rake a little bit. But but if you just want you a just quick and dirty job, you want to give yourself more work. If you just want a quick and dirty job, you can just mow right over them. There is this thing called a leaf blower as well, everyone. True. So you don't have yeah. to use a rake, yeah. but I understand why. We want to keep the circle of life going. You want to make sure that all those organisms have somewhere to live, you know, and you want everything to decompose naturally. Here, so here's I understand another quick that. question. Okay. If you leaf blow into the street, do you then tidy it up and put it in a pile, or do you just go Wah, that someone else will deal with that it? That is not <laughs> common put courtesy. It in a pile. That is not common courtesy. You're supposed to put it all together. If you were my neighbor, Rob, I'd be very mad. <laughs> Look at How her. many times well, have you, you seen that, though? Uh, they're just they like, just blow it. and then they're like, well, now that's the street's problem. <laughs> and then it comes right back on their lawn later yeah, that day. Yeah, exactly. And if you pay HOA fees, then I'm sure there are certain rules, but I'm assuming you guys just have chatty neighbors who voice their opinion. Pretty or, much. Yeah. You, you know. But that's you a know, conversation like, why don't mad. you, okay, but you it's know, a subconscious mad. conversation. In your own backyard, would you guys consider not raking for the organisms themselves, or is that yeah. not enough No, pure of a laziness. Reason? I would not rake <laughs> yes. in the backyard. But not to save the butterflies? No, just pure laziness. <laughs> I would not Okay, rake. Rob, if the you, weather guy If will. you don't rake, <laughs> it'll kill the grass. So maybe you have leaf piles, but just not on the grass. Okay, Where do you push it off that? to the corner. Yeah. On the driveway. <laughs> on the driveway, in the gutter. On my way into work, that's all I see lately. And I live in Midtown area, uh -huh. and it's like pile, 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 pile. And <laughs> strange, okay. but I've seen 
things fly out of those piles before, so actually piles <laughs> of leaves terrify <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> there was a person once, not who came out of the leaf fog, not completely submerged. <laughs> what? But wow. I, in the right, it's pitch dark when I'm Halloween? driving in. Wait, <laughs> were they trying to scare you? This is Halloween. No, no, oh. this is on my way into work and it's dark and there's wow. a huge pile. The person was probably just sitting on the curb next to the pile, but in my head they popped out of the pile. <laughs> so I'm terrified of leaf piles. So don't come over to my house because I'll be saving butterflies. Pile, pile, How pile. often do you want to see a leaf pile and just like throw your hands well, up Well, Jana and, and Ruben say, I love seeing the leaves. Mm -hmm. Glenn says, I prefer the green ones. And so there are some people who like seeing the, the leaves. Mm -hmm. Carlos Reyna green thinks you're too funny. They're colorful, aren't they? If you don't like butterflies, I have words for you. Classic, says Carlos. <laughs> so nice. Did you say you don't like butterflies? Did no, no, no. I th he uh -oh. said, if you don't. There's always somebody out there that hates something, right? Yeah. So there's somebody out there that's like, <laughs> I can't stand butterflies. They're floating around. <laughs> so 